Today, CoinMarketCap walks you through how to use Arkham Intel, which is a platform that makes it easier for crypto enthusiasts to track on-chain activity of various blockchain entities. Arkham or Arkham Intelligence is a cryptocurrency analytics platform and data tracking dashboard that allows users to easily monitor the on-chain activity of various blockchain entities. The platform allows users to search for people, funds, exchanges, and ENS addresses by name to pull up an overview of their recent activity or search for specific addresses for the same. This data can then be used for various purposes, such as informing trade decisions, predicting trends, risk management, and early threat detection. Arkham aims to improve transparency and level the playing field among cryptocurrency traders and enthusiasts by allowing them to tap into the data that was previously reserved for blockchain analysts and also hobbyists. All right, now let's talk about the main features of Arkham Intel. Arkham uses artificial intelligence to pull, sort, and arrange a wide variety of on-chain data, which it then displays to users via the Arkham dashboard. It is able to automatically match on-chain addresses to real-world identities via its proprietary AI address matching engine known as Ultra. The platform provides a huge range of data analytics that traders can use for a variety of purposes. Via the Arkham analytics platform, users can browse a range of data points related to literally thousands of blockchain entities, including individual individuals, companies, tokens, institutions, and prominent addresses. The type of data displayed depends on the type of entity, but includes the following. Tokens, so that's from highest inflow and outflow, price history, top holders, recent transactions, and on-chain exchange flow. Then we have entities and Arkham addresses, so we have portfolio, holdings by chain, portfolio archive, balance history, profit and loss, exchange usage, recent transactions, etc. In July, Arkham announced that it would be expanding its product lineup to include the world's first on-chain intelligence exchange. As the name suggests, this is a platform that allows users to buy and sell different types of on-chain intelligence, such as addresses, labels, and custom data requests. Users will be able to request specific types of blockchain intelligence by posting a bounty, which entails locking up an amount of the platform's native token, which is ARKM, in a smart contract. So for example, users might request further details about an exploit or request the identity of a specific address. Users can also sell data that they've already gathered on the marketplace in exchange for Arkham tokens. Any data bought via the Intel exchange is held exclusively by the acquirer for 90 days, after which it is made available to Arkham users for free. The platform also features a powerful alerts tool, which allows users to automatically track on-chain activity, like transfers between specific entities, receiving an alert by email or telegram message when an event is detected. Okay, so how to use Arkham? Well, despite its broad range of capabilities, Arkham is actually relatively simple to navigate and also use. The platform allows users to create their own dashboards, which can be used to easily spot and track on-chain data. The platform has already indexed thousands of public and pseudonymous entities, including well-known VC funds, angel investors, prolific traders, and exchanges, allowing users to track a variety of data points related to these entities or enter the address of a custom entity to track its on-chain activity. Activity. Here's how to use the platform. Step one, search for the entity that you want to track from the available list or enter the address that you want to analyze. This can include wallet addresses, token contracts, and exchanges. So in our example, we'll track Jump Trading's public portfolio. Then step two, Arkham will load up a dashboard illustrating a range of data points. And this includes the entity's current holdings, recent transactions, balance history, and profit loss record. Then step three, from here, you can browse the different data points or use the available refinement tools to narrow down the results. So for example, you can filter the recent transactions to include those above a minimum size, so for finding potentially attractive investment opportunities. And then step four, once you've found an entity that you'd like to keep track of, you can then set alerts to automate the tracking process, or you can begin creating your own dashboard. So this is a customized interface showing only the information that you're most interested in. And you can also do this by clicking the track button in the top right corner. Corner. Step five, once added, you'll find the entity is now tracked in your dashboard. You can add additional entities to track using the add button, or you can create your new dashboard using the new dashboard button. And this will allow you to segregate your data sources, allowing you to control which data you see and also when. So here we created three dashboards for different purposes. Step six, you can compose each dashboard with a range of units. After selecting the units that you wish to use, you'll be able to search from a range of entities by name or address. After 
adding these to your dashboard, you'll then find the related data points. So for example, if you select the portfolio unit, that dashboard will track the portfolio of the selected entity. You can also create a custom text box, line charts, pie charts, and statistics to further simplify the information presented. And note that a single dashboard can contain multiple unit types. And then step seven, after creating your dashboard, you can then click on the three dots within each unit to modify its size, making the dashboard more intuitive and also space efficient. So what is the Arkham token ARKM? Well, following months of public speculation, Arkham recently revealed that it will be launching a utility token, providing users with access to new use cases and governance opportunities. According to the official announcement, the Arkham token will serve as the primary currency of the Arkham Intel Exchange, facilitating trades for crypto intelligence data. It'll also enable the community governance of the Arkham Intel Exchange, allowing token holders to determine how it evolves and also operates. Users will be able to earn Arkham rewards for submitting intelligence and also helping to grow the Arkham ecosystem. The release of the token into circulation will be balanced by purchases made in Arkham, as well as exchange fees. According to the official tokenomics, Arkham has a total initial supply of 1 billion tokens, and 37.3% is reserved for ecosystem incentives and also grants. The token is not planned to be inflationary, so the total supply will likely be the max total supply. 5% of the total supply will be sold to participants in the Binance Launchpad sale. So in total, 15% of the total supply Line, so that's equivalent to 150 million Arkham, will be released after listing. The remainder of the supply will be released over the next seven years. So let us know your thoughts about Arkham in the comments down below. Of course, we want to hear from you guys, so make sure to comment down below. I've been your host, Trevor, with CMC, and I'll see you guys in the next one.